Good morning. I've just done about an hour and a half on Zwift and while I was on Zwift, I realized that I've not shared or shown you my latest Zwift soap. So that is what today's video is gonna be all about. But I need to have five minutes and have a shower before I do anything because <laughs> I'm pooped. So I will catch up with you after a shower and show you the Zwift setup. <laughs> I'm showered and now I'm gonna share, I'm gonna actually share two different Swift setups with you because I'm gonna share like the different options. So the first one is my current Swift setup. So that's for somebody that I feel like, like myself, is very like serious on Zwift so that they use it for, or it's gonna be helpful for someone that, you know, wants to do Zwift pretty much every day that's really kind of focused on training and uses it for training like multiple times a week, which is what I do because I wanna, build my fitness to be able to do all the fun adventures that I want to do in summer. And then the other setup is my dad's setup. And my dad has just got Zwift at Christmas and I feel like that's for someone, you know, who wants to go on it like a couple of times a week, maybe for half an hour, an hour or something, that just wants to do it just to build a bit of fitness. I mean, none of these are like right or wrong. You can use, you can use either setup. I mean, you can go all out and, you know, if you're only gonna go on it once a week, but I feel like there's more investment in the setup that I've got. So I'm gonna sh also show you and tell you which I feel like are the extra things that I feel like make a big difference. And so if you don't have to buy everything, I'm just gonna share a few of the things. And some of the things that I've got actually, none of you actually need because it's more for live streaming. So anyway, let me just stop chattering away and show you actually my setup. First thing is the turbo. I've got the Wahoo Kicker. I've had it for years. I think it's a really, really good turbo trainer. And I also really like that it's got a handle on it, just so that you can move it around really easy because they are heavy. And I think for me, I much prefer using a smart trainer because they just feel a lot more lifelike. And yeah, I've been really happy with it. So yeah, that is the, that's the turbo. The bike that I've got on my turbo is my, just my favorite summer road bike. I love this bike. It's the Ribble Endurance SL. And the reason that I use this on the turbo is because it's the bike that's always really clean. I don't like putting dirty bikes on a turbo. I don't know, it just makes me feel wrong. So this one is always pretty clean. And also I really like, because this is the one that I do all my big, like, I guess my big road adventures on. So like big old axes, endurance rides. I like that I'm getting used to, not getting used to, but do you like how it fits? So that I'm not then spending loads of time in winter training in one position, then I'm going out and it feels different. So the position is always the same. Scoot along the floor with me to uh, see the next thing that I use. And now for the fan. This fan is incredible. It is so expensive for a fan, but I've spent, I spent years using like just the small little cheaper ones and they were fine. And then when I use this, I was like, this is just incredible. It is the Wahoo Headwind. And like I say, it's very expensive, but I feel like because I spend so much time training on the turbo indoors, I can't use a garage. I don't have a garage. This is the next best thing to being outdoors. And I'll just let me just show you like how strong it is. Up here, you can see my monitor. So this is a Samsung, I think it's a 32 inch monitor. I really like it. I feel like it makes it a lot more immersive when it's a lot bigger screen, which is, inevitable and then that's linked to a Zotac um, PC and the reason that I've got this set up is for doing live streams and so like for years I used my MacBook Pro but when I watched a live stream because it was a really old MacBook it wouldn't live stream very smoothly so that's why I got this all set up. that's why I've got a little so Logi, Logi, L-O-G-I, I don't know, um, webcam so that, that's what I'm using when I'm streaming and then you can see on there, this is my little thing for when I do my sub out out there, all my like what like time so that I can kind of pace it well. Also as well, the only problem with having a monitor and not just using a computer, like a, a, like a MacBook or something, it took me, I was waiting to film this, I couldn't find the remote. It took me about 20 minutes. I was like, I don't even know where the bloody remote is, but yeah. So that's one downside of having a beautiful setup like this is like, you've just got more stuff to lose. And yeah, <laughs> right, next thing. This thing is amazing. This is a quad lock. So that basically mounts your phone to the bars and I use it for the companion app or when I'm 
changing music. And then the other thing that I really like about this is you can actually lock it in landscape. So if you want to watch some YouTube while you're Zwifting, if you've got a long session, then you can just turn it around that way, lock it into place and Update watch Zwift YouTube. has landed across all platforms. And so that's my setup as someone that uses Zwift as just a huge, huge platform to train and using it pretty much every day. And for my dad, which I'm gonna show you now, my dad uses it a few times a week, he's just started to get into it and he's building his fitness that way. So my dad has got the Wahoo Kicker Core and he's just got his alloy road bike on there, he's got a giant road bike and he's just using it. I've actually given him one of my old MacBooks um, and he's using it on the MacBook Air, basically just put on a, um, a little plastic box and he's using that in his garage so he's got the doors open so he's got the breeze and so he doesn't currently have a fan i'm actually going to give him one of my i've got an old fan that i'm not using so i'm going to give him that it's not a headwind but because he's practically outside i think that will be enough for him i feel like either of these setups are going to be amazing all you need really is your bike turbo and zwift and all the extras are just like a nice little addition and i love seeing like really nice like pain cave setups where they've got this huge room and they've got lights and they've got these huge big monitors and screens and stuff. I don't have that and I Zwift so, so much. Also before I used to have it in my office, I used to have it all set up there with like a little um, computer, which is now the one that my dad's got and just do it on that. And that did me well for years and years. So you don't feel like you have to have all this stuff to be able to enjoy Zwift and build your fitness up. You really, really don't. You could even just use your phone Put it on landscape, you could actually use it on the quad lock actually. Put it on landscape and then just follow Zwift on that. And I was gonna say like splurge on a couple of things for Zwift. I would probably say the main thing is the turbo because that is actually how you're feeling to actually ride your bike. And also I think the other thing is the quad lock because it just makes it really easy to be able to use Zwift and navigate on that. That's just my personal preference. Like you don't necessarily need like a really expensive fan. They are luxuries and it's really nice to have, but you definitely don't need them. So I hope that video has helped, you found it useful. Let me know the things that you couldn't live without on Zwift in the comments. And I will see you all in the next video. Oh God, there's a bloody car alarm going off outside. Sorry, let me shut the windows. Oh no, it was my nose running. <laughs> oh God. <laughs>